I think I, I think the biggest thing to talk about, aside from all the like you know minor changes, like you know to like the maps, uh, the characters, the killers, uh, is decisive strike. It's become a real controversy among the community right now. It's a little divided. I think the majority is for the change. Personally, I also think it's a good change. I think they could do better. I remember them saying that it's very early in the phase of changing and it's not going to come out in the next coming mid-chapter, maybe like in the next coming chapter along with the new killers and whatnot. I think they could change a couple things. Decessive Strike, you know, it's an anti-tunneling perk. Everyone knows that. Like, like you know, survivors can be dicks and like the once they get unhooked, they'll want the killer's attention. Like, you know, they'll run straight to a gen, pop it right in front of the killer's face. They'll hide in a locker right in front of the killer's face, baiting the DS. It's just, it's just the most annoying thing. Like, the new DS cancels all of that. If you get on a gen, if you heal your teammate, cleanse the totem, DS is canceled. I don't think uh, your DS should be canceled with every action. I think at most, you know, getting on a gen in front of the killer's face and, you know, hiding in a locker. I think those two in the majority, because... Uh, Healing or getting healed by a teammate should not cancel your DS. I think, you know, if you found a safe place to hide and, like, your teammate's down to uh, heal you, you're not being chased by the killer, the killer's nowhere near you, your DS should still be active at most for those 60 seconds. Sabotaging the hook, you should still have your DS. The most a killer can do is, like, down you if they have, like, you know, save the best for last. You should still keep your DS. Cleansing a totem, you should still keep your DS. Uh, maybe make it more specific. Uh, if you're cleansing a hex or just a norm normal totem, like if you clean, if you if you uh, cleanse a hex totem, maybe you should probably lose your DS or not. I don't know. Still debating on that one. Cause I think DS at the end game, like you know, if you're just been unhooked and you're going towards the exit gate and the killer downs you, just you know, for desperate measures, they're like, hey, you know, he's the only injured person. Let me at least get one. But, you know, bang, you decide to strike them and you still escape. I think there should still absolutely be a necessity. Like, decide to strike in those, in those points of view should, is not, you know, uh, being toxic in any way. You just want to escape. Um, so I just think it should be mainly for if you're trying to be a dick. Like, if you run towards the killer being like, hey, you know, hit me again. Not only do I have BT, but I also have DS. Or if you just, you know, hide in a locker. You hide in a locker, get on a gen. You're either being productive or not productive, and like you know, you should just lose your DS. That's just my point of view. Uh, leave comments. I'm actually very curious about the thoughts on this. Uh, I think it's still subject to change. They're hearing all the criticism, probably, or maybe not. Who knows? They don't really listen to the community. Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts. DS is gonna get changed regardless, and uh, yeah, that's about it.